they're out there lurking. He probably knows what time you get up, what car you drive, where you go to work. People who want to do harm. The assailant can be this really good looking guy that you know, you have no idea. And they want to take away your sense of security and comfort. And he is planning his attack for when you're at your weakest moment. Stand up! But an internationally recognized program is hoping to arm individuals with the knowledge and techniques to always be prepared. So he has my arm locked in and he's pulling me out of the facility. And so I didn't know what to do. My reaction was, freeze. Melissa Vela was working as a tutor at a local community college when one student she was helping put her in an uncomfortable position. There are people out there who were just looking to attack pretty much. No, no. After her experience, she decided to never feel threatened again and joined RAD, the Rape Aggression Defense System. Come with me. But after taking this class, give me a like a fire. You know, if you if you want to attack me, God bless you because you're not going to have fun whenever you get out of this experience. Sergeant Brian Lennon of the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says it should be a priority for all women to take advantage. I think it's important that everybody knows that this class is out there. It's offered all across the country. And you know what? We don't charge anything for you to come take the class. You can come as many times as you like. Every two minutes in the United States, a woman is sexually assaulted. And that's the ones that are just reported. I can't believe that a woman can't walk down the street without being ridiculed and looked at as an object and disrespected the way they are. Keep fighting. Get that face out. For now, the class is welcome to women only, ages 12 and up. It's about four hours long and spread out over three to four days. It's taught by certified rape aggression defense instructors, and you're provided a reference manual. The first day is a lecture and discussion. The second day is mostly techniques, and the third day would be simulation, where we put you through three or four different scenarios with a trained simulator. And that's when you get to go ahead and put forth all the techniques that you learned prior to. You'll see the confidence level in our students rise. So who are potential students? We've had realtors, people from different real estate companies. We uh, had a ballet uh, students from Houston come up and take the class, church groups. And mostly it's mother and daughter teams that get involved. Even young ladies going off to college and people who will be living away from home for the first time. It's not uncommon for us to have survivors in our class. Usually they'll come up to us during a break and they'll describe what uh, transpired in their lives and they are so thankful that these courses are out there because they always state to us no, if there's ever the next no, time no, it's going to no, be a whole lot different. No. Sergeant Lennon says slowing down and paying attention to your surroundings along with risk avoidance are two skills they teach in the course. And I guarantee you that if he assaults or attempts to assault you and the next thing you know, he realizes, wait a minute, this individual has had some training. He doesn't want any part of that. <laughs> Melissa will tell you the knowledge from Rad has changed the way she faces every single day. Your technique doesn't have to be perfect. Mine isn't perfect, um, but it's good enough to get me away from a certain situation. When I was attacked, I didn't have anything to go to. My brain said, I have no information here for you to help you out. And with the RAD program, it gives you an arsenal. Michelle Merhar, Fox 26 News.